Hi guys. Spectacularly gorgeous day. Here in the end times on Memorial Day. May 30th, Monday, May 30th, 2022. So I just finished my monkey pox roundup rant uh, for the week. And unbelievably, my battery is still holding out. So I'm uh, probably going to collapse during this. I just, uh, guys, you know, I guess Sam Mitchell over at Collapse Chronicles is uh, has been labeled a racist, eugenicist, uh, whatever, for his rant, and I'm quite sure that I will be labeled a homophobe uh, from my monkeypox rant. So let's make it a trifecta and see if this gets me labeled a sexist, misogynist, probably a Donald Trump voter, and a potential rapist, I guess. Uh, what are the little limp dick snowflakes up to today in the mainstream media? Uh, from Business Insider, well, I don't know if this is the limp dicks or not. You decide for yourself, is this a limp dick or not story. Uh, imagine reading this story five years ago, trying to figure out what the hell they're talking about. Uh, a nonprofit advocacy group says a researcher's avatar was raped in the metaverse. A researcher's avatar was raped in the metaverse. Other Meta users have also said they have been sexually harassed or sexually abused in the Metaverse. Yes, Meta investors want to report on harms facing Metaverse users, but shareholders rejected the idea. Yes, okay. A researcher entered the Metaverse wanting to study users' behavior on Meta's social working platform, Horizon World. But within an hour after she donned her Oculus virtual reality headset, she says her avatar was raped in the virtual space. Quote, Metaverse, another cesspool of toxic content. Yes. A new report published by the nonprofit advocacy group Some of Us on Tuesday details the researcher's violent encounter in Meta's Horizon World. <coughs> According to the Some of Us account, users <coughs> invited the researcher to a private party on Horizon World earlier this month. Users in the same room then asked her to disable a setting that prevented others from getting within four feet of her, meaning other avatars getting within four feet of her avatar. Okay, the report linked to a video that the group says shows what happened to the researcher's avatar from her perspective. In the video, a male avatar is seen getting very close to her while another male avatar stands nearby watching a bottle of what appears to be alcohol. Hmm is then passed between the two male avatars per the 28 second video. Two male voices <coughs> are heard making lewd comments, you know, about this woman's avatar in the video. Yes, in part of the video, some of us opted not to share, but describe the researcher, quote, 
was led the researcher, not the researcher's avatar, see where we've gone with this, the researcher, the woman wearing the glasses that she could take off her head anytime. Okay, the researcher, not her avatar, quote, was led into a private room at a party where she was raped by a user who kept telling her to turn around so he could do it from behind while, uh, while users outside the window could see, all while another user in the room watched and passed around a vodka bottle, <coughs> close quote, per the report. Yes. <coughs> even though, even though the incident happened in virtual reality, it left the researcher disoriented, she said in the report. The research, the <coughs> now this one, it, it, this is where the story gets even stranger. The researcher noted her controller vibrated when the male avatars touched her, resulting in a physical sensation that was a result of what she was experiencing online. Okay, quote, one part of my brain was like, what the fuck is happening? The other part of my brain was like, this is not a real body. And another part was like, this is important research, she said in the report. Yes. Some of us researchers have also reported experiencing homophobic and racial slurs in Horizon World and said they witnessed gun violence on the platform. Yes, Meta launched Horizon World in December to users 18 and up in the U.S. and Canada. By February, there were at least 300,000 users on the platform. Uh, four other users also recently said their avatars were sexually assaulted or harassed in Horizon World and other Meta VR platforms. Okay, here's another one where a beta tester reported that her avatar had been groped in Horizon Worlds. Yes. Uh, anyway, this goes on and on and on and on. Uh, good. God, uh, this goes on and on and on. Okay, I just read an article over on uh, Collapse Chronicles about 31 million people getting ready to starve to death uh, in sub-Saharan Africa this summer. Two comments one of which was by some guy calling himself Humpty Dumpty. Out of a planet of eight billion, two people, including Humpty Dumpty and one other person on the planet, uh, commenting on the reasons that 31 million people, mostly children, getting ready to starve to death in sub-Saharan Africa. Two comments, this story about an avatar being raped in the metaverse, 771 comments. Uh, Humpty Dumpty has not weighed in with his comment, an avatar cannot be raped. You cannot rape an avatar. All right, but we're gonna look at the first five comments since this battery is still on. Okay, but I guess I am too far from the uh, router to...
to uh, read comments. I'm too far out in the woods. So, can an avatar get raped? Uh, this is the burning question among the, uh, uh, among the little, uh, I guess, limp dick uh, lefties. Can an avatar get their panties in a wad? This, 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 uh, the very notion of an avatar getting raped is patently absurd on every single level. It is unadulterated little lefty snowflake bullshit. Okay? You cannot... What are these things, these avatars? Are they little blips on a computer screen? That woman was not raped on any level. This political correctness, unadulterated horseshit. Uh, good God. Uh, uh, you know, when are we going to have enough of this shit? But I've had enough of this shit. And uh, my avatar is getting hungry, and uh, I need to go feed my avatar. Get out there and uh, feed your avatar while you still can. Bye, guys.